Hey guys, what's up? How's it going? Today we're gonna go over how to draw Among Us a crewmate with a black bandana. So it's gonna be real simple, easy, and for beginners. I'm gonna be using this Crayola brand marker uh, and regular printing paper. You can use anything you want. You can use a pencil, you can use a pen, doesn't matter. Um, if you want a supply list, there's a link in the description. Go check that out. I like using this marker and another marker. Okay, let's get going. First thing I do is I'm gonna draw a curved line right here for the uh, side of the visor. Essentially the window the crewmate is looking out of. Hopefully you're an Among Us fan, because that's why you'd be here, but uh, you know, looking good. Uh, glad he came to the video, it's fun. Uh, it's fun to hang out. Curve underneath for the bottom portion of the crewmate's um, visor there, or the window. And then we're gonna curve over here as well. We're not gonna cover the top just yet. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, around the bottom portion of it, I'm gonna pull a line down for his stomach. And it's gonna go further here to the bottom of the foot. So from this point, this point, the middle, you're gonna go back. Actually, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go a little bit back right here and I'm gonna find the back, basically the longest line in the entire longest stroke in the entire drawing. It's gonna be down the back of the head, down the back, all the way down to the back of the foot. Line across. That's gonna be the bandana. That's gonna be the bottom of the bandana. That's a straight line right there. Alrighty. Well, let me, let me finish the feet first and pull that a little bit lower. And then I'm gonna curve in for the bottom of that foot on this side. Curve in here for the bottom of that, that foot on that side. Try to make them about the same size. Pulling up, pulling up, and I'm gonna pull in right here. All right, so now you get the bottom of the body done. Um, so from this point, I would say about like halfway-ish, in your mind's eye, go back here, pull line out. This could be the top of that backpack, lower portion of that body right here. Pull line out, you have the bottom of that backpack. So now let's connect them. So that shape to me looks like a loaf of bread. I always think of stuff in simple shapes so that you can draw it later from your mind. You'd be like, oh yeah, it looks like a teardrop or it looks like a bread or whatever. Like think of simple shapes uh, and you can draw them later on. Also, if you like the idea of drawing whatever you want out of your mind, if you like that stuff, if you like growing your knowledge base every little bit every day and being able to draw a few more things every day, um, hit that subscribe button right now. Uh, so I'm gonna be posting three different videos, uh, basically three different drawing lessons every single day, but every single weekday. So it's gonna be Monday through Friday. So Monday, there's three videos. Tuesday, there's three videos. Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. And so at the very end of the week, you're gonna have 15 different drawing lessons every single week on different topics, completely different topics, anything. Um, I wanna fill your library of knowledge in your mind. You don't have to watch every video, of course, that's too much. I mean, it'd be great if you did, but I, you know, we live in the real world. What it is, is I wanna give you a selection of what to draw from and be, so you can pull that up at any point. And I want it to be taught to you very easily. Uh, so for example, there's an Among Us playlist. There's like 50 videos in that with every different hat. If you're like, hey, today I wanna draw the beanie, or hey, today I wanna draw the halo, go to those videos in that playlist. You have that choice, and so that's what I wanna do for you. So also, Pokemon, like, hey, I feel like drawing Pokemon. I'm filling out that playlist slowly over the course of time, and everything goes in a playlist. Everything goes in a playlist. Um, it is for you to grow your knowledge, to grow your drawing tree, you know, to, to fill that library in your mind so you can kind of just draw whatever you want. You wanna sit there and, you know, you're with your friends and you wanna like doodle out a character like this, easy, right? You wanna sit there in front of your family and you're like doodling on your own and you're like, and they're like, hey, what are you doing? Like, wow, look at that, you know, that's, that's awesome. Like you wanna have the ability to just kind of doodle whatever you want, right? Um, or at least you're interested in. Um, so if, if that sounds good, I hope, does that sound good actually? I'm sure that sounds good, right? If that sounds good, subscribe right now. Like subscribe, there's no downside to it. Um, 
it's completely free. So you're never gonna be, you know, there's no, there's nothing going on. Just, it's completely free. Uh, but yeah, if my stuff here is worth your time, please consider that. Uh, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna draw the top of the bandana. It's gonna go back a little bit here. And then back on the forehead here. So essentially it's just kind of a straight, imagine like a thin box on his head. We draw a circle here for like a tie. It's tied up. And then it's gonna go down here, kinda, and then down. It's kind of that strap hanging out. Draw a line to kind of show the folds in the bandana. Can't tell if that's like folds or that's just like an anger face or something. I'm pretty sure it's just folds. And then we're gonna draw the top of the crewmate's head, which is gonna just peek out here. Alrighty. So the last thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna thicken the lines everywhere. The reason I wanna thicken the lines is I want it to match the animation of the game. And so this is something that I guess you can do if you have marker. Um, if you don't, um, just, you know, chillax, hang out, let's talk, how's life? Hopefully you're doing good, hopefully you're having a clear, good drawing day, because there are good drawing days and bad drawing days sometimes. Um, they, they, they become, the more you practice, the more you draw repeatedly, they become more and more good drawing days. Remember to stay optimistic if you're like, hey, I don't know if I can draw that. You can, if you just, you know, the mistakes are part of it, you know, but like over time, but you will be able to draw something if you know, you just sit there and you put your mind to it and you enjoy the process. That's so important. You're gonna have a much better time if you just enjoy what you're doing. It really is, it's it's so much better. Um, so what I did uh, was I ended up drawing, um, just doodling in a sketchbook, right, of course, for like, you know, years. So what I did, so I had a lot of requests to do this, was I took one of the sketchbooks that has 24 pages with ideas in it, and it's all video game looking art, kind of looks like Skyrim art or something, uh, like like that kind of line art, and it's different than this, and um, I ended up, you know, printing that out and having people look at it in a physical format, because when you look at stuff online, it almost seems detached, like you're not really, I don't know, like if you're learning something is one thing, but if you really, really want to like draw in that other style, it's great to have a physical copy of it, and I, if you look at my... I'm not gonna show it, but like, if you look at my room, I have a bookshelf there and it's full of physical books, you know? Because it's different, it's different to hold it and it just seems so much more tangible. Um, and I feel like I'm holding a work of art, you know? Even if I know it's just printed, but but yeah. I put a physical copy of a sketchbook that I did on Etsy right now. It's small, it's easy to carry around, um, and you will learn a lot just from kind of like, you see a lot of the line strokes in there. Um, it's called Sketch Monsters, uh, you know, sketchbook essentially. Go check that out on my Etsy store. The link is below. Uh, if that stuff sounds good to you, if you know, you're like into that, um, you know, check it out. All right then, this is the end of the video. Thank you so much. I appreciate you, uh, you know, and all your glory. You are amazing. Uh, thank you so much, guys. Um, if you made it to this point, do me a huge favor and uh, say hi to me in the comments. When you do that, then I'll know. I'll literally know that, you know, hey, you got to the end of the video. Like, I'll, like, oh my God. And I'll reply to every single comment. Talk to you later. Let me do this a little more. Talk to you later. It's easy pictures to draw. And I'll talk to you soon.